Do you have employees with your, with, for your company? I don't have any W-2. I have a virtual assistant. I have a, like a maintenance person, 99 maintenance person. And then I have a couple of rockstar cleaning ladies. And that's the team. It's me, okay. VA, maintenance and cleaning. So how much time would you say you're spending per week on your business right now? Actively managing the business itself. I would say in the business, it's maybe 20 to 30 hours a week, maybe. If that, I'd say probably 20 hours. But then I'm also putting in additional work, working more on the business. And then I'm also obviously doing book stuff. I have my Facebook group and I'm doing some coaching and helping other midterm rentals. So I work a full, I try to make my work week like nine to five. Obviously it's tough in this business to always do it like that. Real estate's not exactly nine to five business, but I try to like, I try to work about eight hours a day. And then I'll put in a couple hours a week in the weekends too, maybe whatever, 40 to 50 hours a week. And in total, I don't necessarily need to be working that, that much, but it's good. I don't know what else to do with my time. Cause it's like, yeah. sometimes like sometimes Sometimes the thing, if I don't have much to do, dude, all my buddies are at work. I, I don't know. I, it, my, I don't, what else am I going to do? No, I completely hear you. I completely hear you. What do you, what are some tasks? Like when you say working on the business, what are some examples of tasks that are working on the business instead of in the business? So that's more things like, more things like I, I call it on working on the business, but it'd be working with like relationships with my landlords. Like I'm on the phone with my landlords a lot. Like a lot of times we're talking and spitting ideas back and forth. It's putting in like systems and place and like building out like our like we have a whole bunch of SOPs and I've just been working a lot just really getting those assets like dialed in creating those systems so that my VA knows how to handle any situation that comes up and whatever my cleaning and my maintenance we've got like a great maintenance system dialed in right now basically we, we created a maintenance form so anytime if one of our tenants has any sort of like maintenance issue or sometimes it's more like a property runner yeah necessarily hey the light bulb's out or there's a leak under the sink or there's all these little sorts of maintenance issues my va will just send them a template a message saying hey sorry to hear that thanks for letting us know please fill out this maintenance form and our handyman will our maintenance guy will reach out to you within 24 business days. Right? so they fill out the form maintenance guy gets a, a notification and he'll he's trained to reach out to the tenant directly within 20 business hours to resolve whatever that the issue is so that like for example that's something that i created that was like working on the business yeah I never have to worry about. That was a huge pain in my ass. It was like coordinating between the tenant, the tenant and the maintenance guy to coordinate a time to come in the property. The tenant wants to be home when they're there or whatever, all this stuff. So things like that. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. That's cool. Do you use AI in any parts of your business? Yeah. Oh yeah. Talk to me on that. I love, dude, I love ChatGPT. So what we've been doing with ChatGPT is that my, we trained our ChatGPT. We named it like our Airbnb customer support. We, I fed it all my VA. He, he fed it, all of our templates, all of our like property information, all of our like everything about her business and everything. And then we also started feeding it a lot of our past conversations. And so we're basically training the AI bot on to become our customer support bot, right? So we first gave it the prompt telling it, hey, like your M slash STR super host, you provide incredible customer service, but whatever. We gave it a prompt, giving it a job. We're telling it that your job is to provide customer support for our midterm tenants. And then we started feeding it templates and all this stuff. And we just, and then, so now basically whenever someone sends us a message, my VA doesn't have an exact template on how to respond to the issue or doesn't know exactly. He just puts the question, feeds it into ChatGPT, and ChatGPT spits out a response that's in my style of writing because we trained the ChatGPT with all of those past methods. Basically, ChatGPT's become our customer service rep, customer support, and like VA is just like copy and pasting. VA. Yeah. So that's one of the main ways that we're using Chat. For work with questions. Uh, so like when you're a VA, because we I have something similar to that. It, I so I use Hospitable for a lot of my messages, but I, I also that's more of the Airbnb, and then I text through a third party software. So I should probably dial that in more, kind of like what you're saying. But what is your what do you what software are you guys using to actually text or message your tenants? Because you're doing more midterm. Yeah, we use Open Phone. Open Open phone and not just yeah. give you and the VA and everyone access and stuff. Correct. Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's called a, I think it's basically, it's like an online, it's like a Google voice, like an online phone number. We both, everyone on the team has, or not everyone, but the VA and I both have mm -hmm. access to the open phone number. So people will text that number and either I can respond or the 
VA and whoever, they don't really know. They don't, they mostly assume that they're messaging me, but it's usually, yeah, we're using open phone. I also love it because you can schedule messages at a time. Whenever we have, once someone like confirms their reservation, we get, my VA will schedule in all of their scheduled messages. So we'll have the check-in message scheduled out. We send a message the first day after, the first day after they stayed and we asked, hey, how was your first night? And then we have also the checkout message that's scheduled before they leave and all that. We use open phone to schedule out all those messages, which is, so it's not completely automated because Airbnb makes it so easy. They, you just have these automated messages sent out. With open phone, it's not fully automated, but you just schedule them ahead of time. And then with open, you can also record phone calls. You get like trans, tr tr uh, transcribe phone calls and stuff, all that stuff. It's great. Cool. Are you also using a channel manager for the properties that you get through Airbnb or no? So I'm not using a traditional channel manager. I'm not doing like hospitable or any of those other ones. I just use, I use monday.com to manage all of our reservations. Monday.com is really more, it's like a project management software. So it's very like customizable. All sorts of different businesses use it for all sorts of different things. So I actually created my own little system on Monday. So whenever we get a reservation, we just upload it into Monday. Like my VA uploads it into Monday. And that's how we keep track of all of our properties, all of our tenants, all of our so they're in there. And so I'm a huge advocate for Monday.com. And I do also have a template for anyone who's interested in using Monday.com. They can download my template and get access basically to the template that I created to manage my account. That's awesome. Super full. Cool. I, I used to use Monday.com. I really liked it. I use Notion now. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think they're, I think they're both great. Any of those software, I think they're just as good as, yeah, if you use them, they're great. If you don't use them and then they're then just like anything else. So that's cool. W one, one quick note, as you said it, cause my mind, do you have Zapier? Do you use Zapier? I do. I'm not good with it. I haven't used it much, but do have it. Okay. Cause one thing that just popped in my head, cause I'm, I have Zapier. It's like an automation for those who don't know. It's like an automation tool. I use it for as many things as possible. One of the things that's popped in my head that you might be able to use it for, I don't even know if this would help you, but I'm just, as you said it, I thought it. So Airbnb, you can't do a zap with Airbnb. Their API is. Right. And I've thought about this. I think I know where you're going, where they send you an email and then I can zap the email directly into my Monday. There so I have that on things to do. I just really suck with Zapier. I still have to get good with it, but I have that in my. I thought about that. Right okay. now, I just have my name manually. And it's still manageable because it's midterm. So it's each booking is for two months or whatever. So it's manageable, but it would be really cool for that to be automated. Yeah, dude, yeah. that and you know, yeah, yeah. User errors. That, that's a quick one too. Also, I don't know how when like how much you played around the last time you played around with it, but they have this new AI. Zapier has this new AI function where you can literally type in there, hey, whenever I get an email with this certain subject line or this certain description or whatever, send this to money.com and it will basically build it out for you. It's like- Oh, easy. dude, that's crazy. I didn't know that. No, and it's been a while since I played it. Oh, you gotta check it. I'm writing that down. Yeah. And another thing that I do that might relate in some way, or maybe you do incorporate this or you could, or other people thinking, when I, ha I have things, like in that example, what you could also have it do is at the end of that flow, you could have it send either a notification, a text message, a whatever you want. Or what I do, like in my VAs, I have a task list for them to do. So whenever I have something for them to do, it'll automatically add that to their task list. So you, because it also might be, it might take some manual components to plug in some certain details about the Airbnb reservation. But if you can make most of it automated, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a good idea.